So one of the things you're gonna find on these old trucks is the carrier bearing. It's mounted right here in this transom in the middle. Uh, those things are usually toast. You got a drive shaft that kind of connects here. One goes to the transmission and the other uh, to the differential in the rear. So we're gonna pull these uh, four bolts out here to get the U-joint free there. And then at the top of the uh, carrier bearing, you got a couple of bolts, one if you're lucky. I uh, but she had two bolts there holding that in. And that uh, slide that out the back. And so what you'll have here is that was the differential end. Here's the carrier bearing itself. And you can see this one is just ratted out completely. Uh, this is the end that goes into the transmission. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna pull these um, keepers here for this U joint here in the middle and uh, hammer this out that way and that way to get the caps off. And then inside, inside there is a, is a bolt. So once we get this shaft out of our way, uh, we'll be able to access that bolt. We'll take that bolt out and pull the yoke out of this shaft here so we can slide the carrier bearing off. And then we will uh, slide a new bearing on Put the yoke back in, the bolt, U joint back together, put her back in the truck. Uh, reverse of removal. Okay, with that carrier bearing off of there, so what your shaft looks like. Um, this one that goes to the transmission here. So went up and picked up a new bearing at O'Reilly's. And uh, that thing's just gonna slip right on there. not pressed or anything it just slips right up on there like that and then you'll have your yoke here and you'll notice in there that this uh, one spline here is wider than the others so that keeps your orientation straight it only go back on there one way so we'll put that back on there and run the old bolt back through the end of it to hold it on place and Slap the other U-joint in there and put it back in the truck.